I'm joined by our guest to discuss this further. I'm joined by Dr. W. Selva Murthy, who is the Chancellor of the Amity University and the former DG of the DRDO. Well, uh, good afternoon, Mr. Selva Murthy, for taking our time and joining us over here at Mirror Now. My first question to you would obviously be, sir, what excitement and what promise does the Chandrayaan 3 pack for you? As a scientist who has served defense research and development organization for 40 years, and also as a scientist and academician now 10 years in Amity University, I'm seeing first time the whole excitement which you people have created, the Mirror TV, your reporters, the anchors, the excitement, the passion, Junoon, uh, which you have cast across the country. So my first of all, compliments to you all for this wonderful job which you people are doing. Thank you so much. And we are all waiting for the, the finest uh, moment, the groundbreaking moment when India will make the history of being the first nation to do a soft landing and Southern Pole. It's not very far, just five hours from now. And uh, I could see the enthusiasm of the children, how much passion they have to become a scientist, to become a space scientist and serve the country. Because this is India, the youngest India. And you have propagated this message to the youngest population who would become the future leaders in science and technology. So compliments to you. Now, this mission is important, not only for India, the whole global community is looking towards India. How do we perform this complex task, which uh, the Indian Space Research Organization, Government of India, led by Honorable Prime Minister, that how we are going to execute and then bring the success of first doing the soft landing on the lunar surface in the southern part of the moon, which is close to South Pole, and then carry out the experiments. Because it is just not only landing on the moon, but then subsequently you need to carry out uh, the wealthy information, knowledge, which you have to derive from those, the payloads, the rover, and the payloads on the lander, as well as the payload on the, uh, the propulsion module, all this is going to be very, very valuable. So now we are all waiting for the first, the most critical soft landing, which will happen, because all the problems which we encountered during the uh, space mission, which is Chandrayaan-2, have now been addressed. For example, a lot of tolerance have been given for the lander to take decisions redundancy has been built so that if one system fails, there is another system takes over and addresses the issue. So that is why the winning factor is, is already there. Above all, I am also seeing the spiritual activities which is happening irrespective of religions, that everybody is praying for the success. You may have economic power, military power, knowledge power, scientific power, but above all, the spiritual power is important. So that is going to be the another con major contributing factor for the victory which we will be seeing it today and now when you look at the complexity then you nearing from the landing pre-landing orbit where we are which is about 25 kilometers from the lunar surface now the descent will start around 5 45 pm so from that time onwards the whole complexity builds for the lander to land the, you you are having a lander, which but is Dr. Selva Murthy, what I wanted to ask you is that uh, exploring the south pole of the moon is uh, not an easy feat. Of course, there are several areas of concern and challenges, whether it's the lunar dust or the extreme temperatures that both the lander and the rover will be exposed to anything between 54 degrees Celsius during the day to minus 200 plus degrees Celsius at night. And also the uneven surface, the absence of atmosphere. Uh, how critical would it then be for the rover to to be able to transmit certain critical data back to Earth. Do you think that's going to be possible? It is going, it is possible. The reason is all the preparation for these sensors, which are to be ruggedized, whether it is for vibration, tolerance to impact when it lands, and also the dust which may settle down, all this have been addressed prior to the preparation of the, the mission itself. All these possibilities which are addressed. 
say for example if you one camera doesn't work there is a second camera so there is a redundancy which will if the dust settles on one camera you have another camera functional and then for the payload in terms of the energy they have put the solar uh, panels not just in one direction one attitude of the uh, lander they have put in all surfaces so even if the light falls on the one surface you will still get the uh, charger electricity available or the energy available for uh, the rover to move on and the lander to also function so this kind of redundancy has been built but then there is always the, uh, the if you look at the gravity it's not a uniform gravity like when somebody travels in the aircraft you would have experienced some air pockets when suddenly aircraft shows the movement down below and they're moving up so similar thing happens in the lunar surface in terms of gravity so when the gravity changes the variable okay. gravity that's a challenge when the software which are put in the autonomous mode of descent have to uh, take on the onboard computer will address such issues so all this have been built like tolerance of the velocity of landing earlier it was 2 meter per second now it has been raised to 3 meter per second the previous chandra and 2 we had the landing site which was only 500 meters by 500 meters okay but this time it has been enhanced to 4 meters to 2.5 meters giving a wide range of tolerance so such things have been built and a lot of tests for vibration, impact, all this have been done. Temperature Absolutely. Uh, Dr. Selva Murthy, I will have to interject over there and thank you for uh, sharing your views and your expert perspective on the Chandrayaan 3's uh, landing at the moon today as expected a little over 6 p.m. Indian Standard Time. Thank you so much, Dr. Selva Murthy, for taking your time and joining us over here at Mirror Now. We are getting you some breaking news.